Hi guys, it's Skill Jim. As you may be aware, I'm a massive Shemu fan and an avid Shemu collector. Over the last 22 years, believe it or not, there's been an abundance of Shemu merchandise, especially clothing items. And today I want to go through each of the clothing items that I actually own and um, take you through the years from 1998 all the way up to 2020. And um, we'll showcase each of the items um, T-shirts, jackets, uh, there's a few hats as well um, throughout the video. So I'm going to show you the front and back of everything and the labels, just so you know exactly what there is out there that you can collect yourself. Um, a lot of these items are very, very rare these days. You know, a lot of them are actually history pieces, as um, as far as Shemu goes. This first piece I'm about to show you is from 1998 and I believe it to be the, the very first item of Shenmue clothing available. So this first item was available from the Shenmue premiere, which was an event held in Yokohama in Japan. And I believe everyone in attendance got this t-shirt amongst other goodies. Um, as you can see, it's got the Shenmue logo in Japanese there. Um, and there's Shemu label inside the neck. On the rear is a big Phoenix graphic based on the Phoenix mirror. A nice shirt. Like I say, this is potentially the oldest um, piece of Shemu clothing. Next up are these four shirts. Um, basically the story behind these, as far as I'm aware, especially these three I know for a fact are UFO prize grabber uh, prizes. So basically in Japan in a certain arcade, I'm not quite sure which arcade, um, these three shirts were some of the prizes that you could claw out the machine. So this white one, like I say, I'm not 100% if this is from a UFO grabbing machine, but it's from the same timeline at least. Um, and if you notice, this says free size, which is a term used when there isn't really a size on the shirt. It's sort of like a one size fits all, which I know sounds a bit silly for a t-shirt. Um, but I think it's roughly about a medium to a large and um, This shirt in particular you may have seen it previously on the um, Shenmue 3 Kickstarter page It seems to have been one of the rewards for one of the, the grab bag packages um, If you go on the, the, the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter page and you scroll down to the rewards for grab bags You'll notice this is the shirt design that is supposed to be bundled in with the, the grab bag. So it's got the Shemu one box art on the front there. And it says Sega Enterprises 1999 at the bottom and Shemu.com website. There's no labels that I can see to specifically say it's an official shirt, but um there's a label there, but it's not Shemu branded. But this is an official shirt. And I believe it to have been originally from a UFO prize grabber machine in Japan. So these three, I know for a fact, are from UFO prize grabber machines. And these are all three sizes as well. So let's take a look at each of these. So the first shirt. Notice the... Um, the tag has an F for free. It's actually got the Shenmue logo and Sega 1999. And this is just um, sort of like the the Shenmue one startup screen on the Dreamcast. You know, the middle there with the that's kind of what it looks like there. But it is the Phoenix um, the Shenmue logo, and again it says Sega Enterprises there. There's nothing on the back. Next up is 
shield. It's got Shen Hua riding on what appears to be a horse. It says again, Sega Enterprises 1999. And there's the label with the F size official Shenmue logo. Nothing on the back. And the final UFO prize card t shirt. Is this one of Rio? Okay, an original concept art. Sega Enterprises again, 1999. There's the free size and the Shenmue logo, and there's nothing on the back. So, while well, I'm not 100% of the white shirt was the same, but the three yellow shirts, at least we know, came in these original um, prize grabber plastic bags. So you can see we've got the, the Sega logo, it's a Shenmue t-shirt, 1999, the Shenmue logo down the middle there, and uh, also there's a little bit about how um, you can earn a bonus prize by visiting the, the Sega prize homepage, uh, that's the URL there, not 100% how that website looked. Um, obviously this is a, a Japanese promotional item, so uh, I never got the chance to have a look at that website, so uh, cool if we could uh, check that out perhaps on the, the Wayback Machine. Uh, so it's sega.co.jp slash sega slash prize. Uh, I'm not 100% on what you could have earned on that website. Um, obviously it all ties into the, the UFO prize grabber machine thing there, but that's pretty cool. How um, obviously that would have been sitting in a, a UFO prize machine and you know you get your call and you pick it up and hopefully you win. And it's a, a cool item to win this, a uh, Shenmue t-shirt. And like I say, this is how the, the yellow t-shirts that I've just shown you, those three, they would have originally uh, been enclosed inside one of these cool Sega prize packets. Now following that, I've got a couple of uh, clothing items here that I'm not 100% certain on. First being this bandana. can see it's a really nice item it's, um, it's a Sega Enterprises 1999 at the bottom there so we know it's from 1999 at least that's the, the Shenmue website could also be a, uh, a UFO prize I suppose it's very similar in style to the shirts we've just seen with the date And um, again, it's the uh, Phoenix. And Shenmue in each corner of the bandana. I don't have any more information on that, unfortunately. Same with this shirt. As you've just seen, very similar um, to the yellow version with the, the, the Rio concept art there. So basically that was the back of the shirt. The front actually has the Yu Suzuki logo on the front of the t-shirt. And um, label wise, we've got um, the original tag there. And you'll see this one is actually Yu Suzuki Sega Enterprises 1999. So it's from the same year again. And it's the Yu Suzuki branded t-shirt but on the back is the um, the Rio Azuki concept art it's really nice nice shirt okay another cool t-shirt that I'm not 100% on the the origin of but it's this promotional Dreamcast t-shirt so this is um, obviously the the blue pal Dreamcast logo so this came from a PAL promotion. Um, so you've got a nice blue Sega swirl, Sega Dreamcast swirl with the, the Dreamcast logo on the front and on the rear is a pretty awesome Shenmue artwork. You can see um, we've got this, the Sega copyright logo at the bottom, Sega Enterprises 
1999, which is kind of unusual since um, obviously Shenmue was released for the Dreamcast in uh, PAL territories at the end of 2000, the year 2000. So this is possibly a, um, a t-shirt that originated from some sort of um, game show or, you know, like a promotional um, advertisement marketing sort of campaign thing before uh, Shenmue was to be released. Or um, perhaps the t-shirt the was just made the year, the year prior. Or, um, yeah, I, I, well, those are just my uh, initial guesses. I'm not 100% on where this t-shirt originated from. If you know and you can uh, share some information with us, um, please contact me. You know, either on YouTube or um, somewhere on the internet. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool t-shirt. It's nice to have a, a double-tided t-shirt. Uh, the logo, the label rather, just says large, made in Bangladesh. Um, so yeah, not 100% on this t-shirt, but it's a cool one for the collection. Now moving on. Uh, in Japan, in the year 2000, Shemu launched in America. And if you attended the signing event, Yu Suzuki signing event in California, this was a shirt that we were given. So it's got the Shenmue logo there. It's actually, um, I'm not sure if that will show up on a camera, but it's actually, um, it's that kind of uh, texture where it's, it's raised from the shirt slightly. And tag wise, it just says Haynes Beefy. <laughs> so, not a, uh, an actual Shamu label. And on the back is a almost full size rear Shamu 1 box art cover. Again, the logo itself is actually raised from the t shirt, which is uh, quite a nice touch. And because it was from a signing event, obviously the person I, um, I I got this from originally had it signed by Suzuki at the bottom there. And if you, you're wondering why it looks a bit strange, it's because um, back in those days he used to sign it in his, um, his kanji characters, rather than the way he signs it today in English, mostly. So that's Suzuki's signature in. Japanese. Moving on, I've got a, uh, a shirt that I'm not 100% on the origin from, but it's a Shenmue.com t-shirt, so I'm assuming this was either available to either buy or receive somehow from Shenmue.com, the website. Um, notice it's got a, a Shenmue tag presented by AM2 of CRI 2001. Um, so it's got that on the front. On the back, it's got um, some kanji symbols that are very hard to read. So they're actually very hard to make out what um, it's actually saying what it all means um, I'll hold that there for a second if anyone is able to read any of those kanji characters please feel free to let me know if um, any of it is understood and also on the sleeve here there's a little sleeve tag um, not 100% on what is going on there either but apparently it's, um, I believe, an, an old-fashioned way of writing kanji as well. So if anyone knows what any of that means, please feel free to let me know. And then Shemu 2 ends up being released on the Xbox. And promotion-wise, Xbox staff had this t-shirt. Well, it's more like a polo shirt. It says um, Shamu 2, sort of embroidered onto the front of the shirt with um, Xbox embroidered on the sleeves. 
and on the back of the shirt is um, a few reasons why you should pick up a, an Xbox. It's Xbox advantages. I notice there's no disadvantages, so obviously the console doesn't have any. So from 2002 until 2012, we didn't get any Shenmue clothing. That was until Insert Coin Clothing came onto the scene and they started to release some clothing items. So the first one we have here is a um, t-shirt. It's got the Hazuki Tiger that would normally be on the back of Rio's jacket. They've put it on the front of this, this t-shirt. Inside we've got Shenmue uh, label, it's a Sega there, and insert coin label above. There's nothing on the back of the t-shirt, and it was alongside the release of this shirt that we had our very first Rio Hazuki jacket. Now, the first iteration of the jacket is actually a hoodie. It's quite a nice hoodie actually, well worn by myself. Um, all of the um, the markings on the jacket are actually sewn on patches, which uh, adds a nice, nice effect to the to the hoodie. On the rear, however, is uh, a print of a Hazuki Tiger on the back. Um, but overall, it's a, a nice hoodie, and I've enjoyed wearing it over the years. There's nothing going on inside the pockets or anything, but. It's just um, obviously it's just a standard hoodie made to look like um, Rio's jacket, which is pretty cool. Okay, after a little bit of fan feedback, in 2014, Insert Coin Clothing actually released the leather jacket. This is faux leather, and um, if you notice, the the markings are actually now not patches; they're they're just like printed on. So it's still quite a nice jacket. The uh, very first leather jacket that we got. Again, the back is just a print. Um, obviously, this, this trim and wrist and um, the bottom of the jacket. We've got button pockets, two at the front, and inside the zip will work. There you go. Um, just says insert coin. I think there is a Shamu logo right at the bottom here. Shamu label, Sega. And that was released in 2014. Randomly, in the same year, we got a t shirt from a Japanese company called Hardcore Chocolate. You might recognise this t shirt if you watch uh, YouTuber Adam Krolik. He's, uh, he's worn this shirt quite a lot. And uh, who can blame him, because it's it's a really nice Shenmue shirt. Probably probably one of my favorites, to be honest. Um, we've got Shenmue across the front there, in Japanese and in English. On the sleeve, you've got this hardcore chocolate sleeve tag. On the other sleeve, we've got another Hardcore chocolate logo, and on the back is actually a really awesome image. Um, you've got Rio, Landy, Chai, and the kitten. Mimi, if you named her that. <laughs> it says Yokosuka, um, I'm guessing 1980, even though it was actually 1986 slash 7 in the game. Um, but that part of the, the date is covered up anyway. You've got the Shemu logo again. And Sega down here. The following year, obviously Shemu 3 was announced, and um, E3, and Sega took the opportunity to release a T-shirt at TGS the same year. So this is that T-shirt. It's got a nice image of Rio on the front, Shemu um, across the image. On the sleeve is a Dreamcast logo. There's nothing on the back. And inside, no actual, let's get that dog here. 
There's no actual Shenmue branding, it just says Prince Star. Okay, in 2016, Insert Coin released four brand new t-shirts. Okay, the first shirt is quite a well-worn shirt by me. Um, I was quite white when I first had it, but obviously after quite a lot of washes and wear and tear, it's faded slightly. But it's still a cool shirt. It says forklift racing, new Yokosuka Harbor. Um, inside, we've got insert coin logo, and I believe there should be a label inside that actually says it's an official Shenmue branded product. Nothing on the back. The second shirt is uh, made to resemble Rio's jacket again, but obviously in t-shirt form. We've got all the, the markings, flags, etc. And on the rear, we've got the Hazuki Tiger again. And the same sort of stuff. Um, print of the insert coin logo and we've got a Shamu label in the bottom. Third shirt is this red nice Balwoods Jack Cole shirt. That's obviously um, one of the, the drinks options that you can get from Shamu. Drink Balwoods Jack Cola. Again nothing on the rear. Uh, there's the insert coin logo inside the shirt, and there's the Shenmue label. Okay, the last shirt is this yellow tomato convenience t-shirt, made to look like a staff member shirt. It says tomato, tomato convenience store. Insert coin logo again, nothing on the rear and the Shenmue tag in the bottom. Okay, that same year, we had a, a random collection of Shenmue 2 merchandise from a UK-based store called Forbidden Planet. And that came with this well-worn Shenmue 2 t-shirt. It's a nice front cover of the Shenmue 2 box art. And we've got the, the Dreamcast logo inside. The collar, the Sega, nothing on the rear, and I don't think there's any additional tags anywhere that I'm aware of. Okay, in 2017, Insert Coin released a, another Rio Hazuki jacket. This time, however, they went for like a bomber style jacket, sort of like a windbreaker. We've actually got patches on this one, which is pretty nice. Um, obviously we've got the Hazuki Tiger on the back. That's just a print, unfortunately. It's still pretty cool. So there's insert coin in the collar. See if there's any other labels inside. Yeah, we've got the Shamu logo tag. Actually, a couple of tags there. The other one just says insert coin. So that was the 2017 jacket from in insert coin clothing. Okay, in 2018, obviously Shenmue 1 and 2 HD collection was announced at um, I believe Sega Fez. And a couple of months later, Sega released this t shirt at TGS, the uh, Tokyo Game Show. Um, in the middle here, we've got Rio on a forklift truck with the Shenmue crate he's carrying there. On the sleeve is um, to the number 1 to 17, which is obviously referring to uh, the warehouses in the harbour. And um, on the back of the t-shirt is a little mini Azuki Tiger. And again, it's a Shenmue below that. Quite a nice t-shirt. Label wise, it just says this basic t shirt thing, what's that, Dalek standard. Um, so there's no official tags or anything, unless that's one. No. But obviously, packaging 
says it's official. Okay, that same year, Insert Coin Clothing released two more Real Hazuki replica jackets. Um, so if you ever see one of those tweets where Sega is asking what sort of Shenmue merchandise would you like to see? And there's a comment that says uh, Real Hazuki replica jacket as though it's never been done before. This makes the fourth and the fifth time it's been done. And that's not counting the one that you could also get on the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter. There's a, a reward, like, was it the three thousand dollar tier? That makes it makes the grand total of six replica jackets that have, have been available to buy. So um, we'll look at the hoodie one first. So this is kind of similar to the twenty twelve hoodie. However, obviously the colour is a little bit different. It's a lighter brown. You've got white. Um, oh, and we've actually got metal on the end as well. The, uh, the hood pulls, uh, the patches are all sewn on, including the back one this time. We've got a very nice large Azuki Tiger patch on the back. Um, inside, it's got the insert coin label, and there we go. That's the Shemu logo label. And the final jacket is the Hazuki Ultimate Jacket. It's still fur leather, but it's a, it's a nicer leather than the original uh, from 2014. All of the patches are actually sewn on, including a really nice large Hazuki Tiger patch on the back. The uh, the overall feel of this leather feels so much better than the original. Um, it's probably the best replica jacket we've had so far. A couple of pockets. Let's see if we've got the label inside still. There you go. Shemu logo label. And alongside the two jackets, we have final insert coin t-shirt. It's a very nice white t-shirt that I haven't actually worn this one. That's why it's so white. Um, but again, it's made to look like Rio's jacket, but white. Um, I guess you could wear this inside the actual leather jacket. Um, so it looks like you're wearing Rio's white t-shirt. Got a nice Azuki tire on the back. Uh, this is all just print. Insert coin label and as usual it's a Shenmue label inside 2019 the year of Shenmue 3 I attended Magic Monaco and obviously Cedric Biscay uh, teased brand new official Shenmue 3 t-shirt which we knew we had to have regardless of the cost it came in this nice Shibuya Productions Magic Monaco tote bag and um, possibly one of the rarest Shenmue t-shirts just because it was only available at that event and the design is, is awesome really um, let's take it out to show you I mean, nightmare putting all these clothes back. Um, things we have to do for videos, though, eh? So, there we go. Nice big Rio Hazuki from Shemu 3 on the back. Shemu 3 logo, Wisenet, YSnet, people like to say. Uh, original game, Sega. And on the front is the Magic Monaco logo. It's actually the fifth anniversary. So, that's pretty cool. Really nice t shirt there. Moving on, same year, coming up to the launch of Shenmue 3. This was at TGS 2019. Uh, it's another forklift design. Quite a nice Shenmue 3 t-shirt there. Rio on the forklift, one of the brand new forklifts. Shenmue 3 logo, YSnet, 
Sega at the bottom. Uh, we've got nothing on the rear. And it's uh, the look standard <laughs> branded t shirt. Snuck in sometime in 2019 was this Shemu cap. Um, this was released on the, the Sega Shop Europe. And uh, it was actually the first Shemu item they ever released on the Sega Shop. Um, it's got a nice design on the front there. It'd be the dragon uh, from the, the dragon mirror design. And in fact, that is the dragon mirror design there. On the back is the Shemu logo. Um, and inside it's got the Sega Shop numskull branding. It's a pretty nice unusual item to get for Shenmue fan. Okay, coming up to the launch of Shenmue 3 now. Um, is an exclusive t-shirt on a Japanese website called Rakuten. I think this was released just before the game was released. Um, I think you could also buy this with the game from that website. Uh, it's got the nice Shenmue 3 box art on the front. Yusuzuki signature. It's just printed on, obviously. Uh, wires net and the Sega logo there. And on the sleeve is the YS net logo as well. Inside is just the pink star tag. And just a standard little tag thing there as well. Okay, nearing the end here now. Again, prior to the launch of Shenmue 3, Deep Silver, on their store, had an exclusive t-shirt that you could, um, you could get bundled with the game. Here's a chibi version of Rio on a forklift. Shenmue 3 logo inside the collar. It says Shenmue 3. Um, officially licensed product. Cop Media, Deep Silver, Sega, Wires Net, 2019. So, it's a cool exclusive t-shirt to own. Got a bag as well. <laughs> okay, the final clothing items released very recently on the Sega shop. We've got two t-shirts and a hoodie. So, first up is this nice grey Shemu logo with a, uh, a dragon mirror design. On the front, um, nothing on the rear. It says Sega inside the collar. And do we have a Shemu label anywhere? Nope. Second shirt from the new Shemu line. There's this cool Rio. Original concept art, if you remember the uh, the premiere event. A poster with this uh, design on, mugs, um, and this is, uh, we brought it back for this t-shirt. It's quite a nice looking t-shirt there with the Shemu logo. It says Sega Shop in the collar, like before, and nothing on the back of this t-shirt. And the final item to show is the hoodie from the same collection. So the hoodie, it's got the Shemu logo on the front. On the rear of the jacket is the dragon mirror design. Quite nice. Reminds me of the uh, Premier event shirt. And then that was Phoenix, this is Dragon. So in a, in a sense, we've come full circle. 1998, we had the Phoenix mirror design on the very first clothing piece of clothing, please, on the very first piece of Shemu clothing, on the very last piece of Shemu clothing, at least as of June 2020. Um, this is uh, Dragon Design. And the latest t-shirt to the Shemu clothing collection is the Shemu 3 backer t-shirt, which was part of the Kickstarter. Uh, certainty is you would um, get this t-shirt. Um, I'll show you that. There's a very nice Shemu 3 sticker there. 
and this is a medium sized tobacco shirt and this has been produced by Fan Gamer who actually produced um, the majority if not all of the Shenmue 3 reward um, items so ooh, it feels a really nice quality t-shirt so it's got the Shenmue 3 we saved Shenmue uh, logo on the front of the shirt it's all black there's also a piece in the back that says Shenmue 3 backer edition t-shirt and then there's some instructions on how to wash it but there's also uh, some copyright information there which is pretty cool designed by Wisenet original game Sega and it's a cool Shenmue 3 um, like the orange artwork that they've, um, they've used for a lot of the different rewards and um, I think the grab bag had that on the front cover, the grab bag. There's also a slacker back edition version of this t-shirt uh, which is in white and I think the um, this orange is actually blue on that, that white t-shirt which is going to be pretty cool to see. I did order one of those at the time. Um, mainly actually I did it because um, I wanted to get a large as well just in case one of them was too small, medium, you know, and I could wear the large one. Um, I didn't realise they were going to end up being two different versions of the t-shirt, so that's actually pretty cool. So I've got them both now for the collection, the white and the black. Obviously the, the white slacker backer t-shirt is still yet to arrive, but um, hopefully we'll see that very soon. Final bonus item, just to show quickly. I've shown it on my channel before, but this is a... Um, an actual Sukajan jacket from Dubuita Street. I bought it from a shop called Mikasa, Yokosuka, Japan. And um, it's really awesome. It says uh, Yokosuka on the back. I'm sure that's Mount Fuji, Dragon. Um, just awesome to have an actual jacket that was um, handcrafted from a store on Dubuita Street. Obviously in Shenmue on Dubuita Street is Sukajan jacket shops. So it's um, it's actually based on real life locations from the game. So yeah guys, that's literally all the Shenmue clothing items that I have. Um, thanks for watching the video. I hope it was interesting. Hope you learned something. Hope um, there's some items there that you didn't even know existed and you know, you can look out for them. You know what to look out for now and um, Pretty sure we'll see some Shemu items in the future. Some more clothing, obviously. Um, doesn't seem like releasing Shemu merchandise is uh, gonna cease anytime soon, which is a bit of a detriment to my wallet. To go alongside this video, I've written a detailed, in-depth post on Phantom Riverstone. So if you wanna go check that out, I'll leave a little link at the very top of the description. So just scroll down a little bit, you should see the link there. Um, you can go on that and um, read a little bit more upon each of these clothing items. And uh, obviously Switch's blog is uh, a godsend to Shemu fans anyway. There's a lot of history and interesting information there that I would recommend you go and check out. So go check out phantomredstone.com. So anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.